Hi Capricorn, um, this general reading will focus in a general way on the energies. I'm excited to be here um, to get into these energies with you. So let's go ahead and just get right into it here. I'm starting to have a lot of um, fun and curiosity around how the cards fall when I do the when I, when I do the shuffling Capricorn because sometimes they fall just neatly into the same place and sometimes they just fall all over the place. Just interesting to me is all. <clears throat> okay. Let's go ahead and get started. Wow, starting off in the Six of Wands. I love that, Capricorn. So that tells you already this group of people in their current energy in the end of April, moving into May. Um, these are a group of Capricorn people who, who are in the process of stepping out into their lives in a more public, in a more dynamic, in a more responsible way in their lives. In some way, this is inspiring, uh, this is exciting, and it is requiring um, digging into the depth of who you are to to do this. So that's, that's Capricorn, that's going to help you know, like, if this reading is going to resonate with you or not. Ace of Swords. <clears throat> Capricorn, there are a group of you here. See, this is what happens when I start reading, like before I get all the cards laid out. Um, this energy of the Six of Wands is definitely here for you, Capricorn. It is an energy that you're in. It's a feeling that you have. It's an action that you're taking. It's a place where you are in your life in the Six of Wands. Now, it feels like to me you guys are just at a at the at the beginning of this journey or you're at some place here where you are um, in a in some sort of a decision making process here you have been in I think you have been in the six of wands for a little while right cat right Capricorn you have started this at least the six of wands is again something that you're doing whether you feel confident about it or you feel sure about it um i think that's something that you're moving into that's something that you're gaining um some strength in so you're strengthening the six of wands now there is something here capricorn that you have been trying to make some some sort of decision about or um, you're, you are working to find clarity on, and I think it does have to do with something here that's in your future, like a future goal or something you're doing as you're moving forward. I, I just feel like that you know that there's something ahead for you here, Capricorn, uh, maybe some kind of a project you're doing or a new or, or a new role you're taking on in your life. Um, you are now in a more serious place, Capricorn, to try to uh, decide what the best strategy is, right? What the best strategy is. Because ultimately, Capricorn, uh, it feels here like you have been in a situation that has been pretty stressful. It has been full of, I, I would I would have to say, um, we, we do have the Ten of Wands here, Capricorn. And when we get into the Ten of Wands energy, that is a feeling here that you are coming up to a place in life where, there is going to need to be a little bit of space created for you. Space as in probably uh, time and energy. I just feel like you're you're sitting here thinking, okay, this is going okay so far, but I have learned, I have learned this and I have learned that. And part of what I have recognized is this situation is going to take uh, a little more effort for from me, for me. It's going to take maybe a little bit more time. It might take up more resources in my life. And so it does look like Capricorn, you're going through some sort of a decision-making process about how to open up some time for yourself 
or some more resources for yourself. But I think for most of you, Capricorn, it is to um, make some changes. I would have to say make some changes in your daily operations or in your daily procedures that help you find the space to think powerfully, um, to quiet the mind. I just feel like you know that there, there are going to be some changes here for you. And the more time that you have to work on this, um, the more quiet you have, because the Ten of Wands usually comes with a lot of incoming racket, right? A lot of incoming noise. The phone rings, right? The alerts go off. The, the requests are filed, the complaints are filed. Like it just feels like with this 10 of wands, um, there's a lot of commotion here. And in order to, to like reach into the Ace of Swords energy and pull out that nugget of truth, uh, with this page of swords here, looking at the 10 of wands, um, realizing there's some important decisions to be made where you, you're going to need to be, have the space to think freely, right? To think in peace. Uh, I, I think you're recognizing that that life is going to need to become a little bit more simple or a little bit more quiet. Look at the two of wands connecting into the ten of wands connecting into the seven of wands. The seven of wands. I'm like, is it all wands? It totally is. If you come back down this V, you're going to run into the five of wands, <laughs> and you have the nine of wands, and you have oh, that's the page of pentacles. You, you have the six of wands here. There's a lot of energy going into this for you. And there's going to be action here. You're going to be busy uh, feeling a little bit vulnerable about the about whatever situation you're in, Capricorn, whether it's a job or a relationship or being a new parent or taking on some sort of new responsibility. This is something that people see because the six of wands is a very public energy. So it is something that people know about. I think it's something that people are quite respectful of because the six of wands is something that inspires other people. So uh, I think that you are passionate about this these actions that you're taking. You're dedicated and you're committed to doing this. But uh, the beginning part of May is like, all right, what am I going to, what am I going to move away from? What am I going to move down my list of priorities? Maybe, maybe I'll put that for something that I do next month, or maybe I hand this job over to, uh, the, you know, the, some other person, you know, that there is some strategy going on here about how and, and when, and, and exactly why, you know, you would stop doing something and continue with something else. It is just an audit. It, it is an audit of your priorities in just saying it in a very clinical way. I do feel it, like it's an audit of your priorities based upon the needs of this new action that you're taking. So you're looking at these criteria, not perhaps not as you used to be, but as the new person that you are now saying, okay, now that I'm doing this thing, now that I'm taking part in this, um, I, I understand it more. I understand how much time it's going to take. I understand how much of my energy it's going to take. I understand how long I work on this every day. And now that I know that, now that I understand the difficulties here, now I can look at the rest of my plate and say, all right, what comes off, right? What can I delegate to someone else? What can I just stop? What needs to be addressed as an issue that actually needs to be ended? There is some thinking about this because ultimately this is the, it's, it's like the a free mind, the ability to have a free and clear thinking mind is of utmost, utmost importance to you, Capricorn. Right. And I think that's the goal for you. There is some sort of there is complexity in this Capricorn. There totally is complexity in whatever you're doing. So a free and clear thinking mind, it could even be a channel. It could even this could even be somebody who's writing something because we know when we're communicating, when we're writing, when we're in sort of some sort of flow right? That connects into the mind. We are in a way channeling our own creativity. And there is some sort of like a flow, clarity, ideas coming. How do I have the most powerful idea center, right? How can I 
create my environment so that my mind, my idea center, and my strategy management system up in my mind, all the complexities of the human brain, how can I get it to a place where it's healthy, where it can be free, free, where it can be free in its own thinking, and where it can have a space to truly um, go into my outer consciousness. There's something about that here. So I, I think it is demanding a different kind of a lifestyle. Or you might even be wondering, um, I think I might need a little bit of a different lifestyle here. Um, but it ultimately comes from those things that do deplete you. And I think you're recognizing that. So there are some aspects here, Capricorn, that have been very difficult for you, I have to say, with the Ten of Wands. I mean, there is a backstory here that has been quite difficult. You have nonetheless made it to this very victorious place with the Six of Wands. And I think you are excited about moving forward, definitely excited about moving forward. Here you are contemplating without hesitation what kind of changes you're going to make and what what you need to um, and what exactly you, you're looking to move away from as part of your focus, as part of your tasks during the day or night, you know, whenever you're the most active. So that's the energy that you're uh, probably, some of you are already in that space right now and others of you are going to be moving into that space as we get to the middle part of the month. Uh, I, you know, the effort is in to bring some sort of stabilization in here for you. We have the page of pentacles here. And if you move the page of pentacles up, it moves up over the top of the 10 of wands and the five of wands, right? Over the top of the 10 of wands and the five of wands into the seven of wands. So I, it feels to me, Capricorn, like your priority, and it's not really to, to be focusing on your actions. I think that you are in action um, in, in a way quite uh, efficient at what you're doing. So your continual movement is steady. And I don't think you're really focusing on the Six of Wands as much um, towards the middle of May, more about, okay, how do you start seeing some success here? How do you start to develop some stability in this process, a routine in this process, because you're looking for some grounding here with the Page of Pentacles. And you're also starting to, you are also looking for, with the Page of Pentacles, like perhaps how can you make, how can you start to make some money with this, or how can you start to increase the profit or the net, or the net, um, or the net profit. There, there is something here. And then now that I have this situation, how do I continue to grow this? How do I stabilize myself in this? How do I keep moving forward? Even if it's just little by little, like how can I continue to move forward with this in the most stable, the most improving way? So you are in the page of Pentacles energy. It shows, I, I really like that you're in this kind of energy Capricorn because it shows that you have the patience, that you're able to control um, the, uh, sometimes we do have this deep inner urgency that can come through us um, when we're doing something big and important like this with the Six of Wands. What I like about the Page of Pentacles is you're able to override that urgency. And when we can override that urgency or that deep need, we can move into a healthy brainwave space, which is probably more of an alpha an alpha kind of brainwave, which is a much more relaxed place to be where you can intake information in a relaxed way where it can sort of move and flow within the mind um, in a more holistic way throughout the energy pathways. Okay, so this is the information that's just coming through, but I don't even quite understand it myself. Um, so I think what it tells me is that you're really able to control your inner needs right now. You're understanding that this is going to take a little bit of time for you get to get to the place where you're starting to see some real change. So whatever you're doing here, this is going to be this success that you're going to derive or you're going to earn from the Six of Wands is something that you are going to work a little ways, a little while to complete. So any completing of success is not going to happen, but you are going to be working in this energy as you begin to move through um, some sort of quieting process, quieting the space around you or... <sighs> 
in a way, creating a boundary around you so that you can find your own groundedness in this. Because the Six of Wands is a big energy Capricorn, especially for an Earth energy that is looking for stability and security and continual progress forward. The Six of Wands is a much more flamboyant, um, passionate, I see the risks, I'm still committed to moving forward kind of energy. So, you know, this is something that you've, ta that you've taken on with, with a lot of responsibility and a lot of thought, right? There's a lot of thought going in here for, for you for this Capricorn. So you're very serious about this. And I think you're understanding um, that it could take a little while for this to all come together. But you're starting on the... Um, it, it, it also feels, Capricorn, that you are somewhat reverent about this opportunity. Very grateful, very appreciative, and understanding that it is going to be a journey that's going to require all of yourself, um, and that it's going to take a little bit of time for you to, to accomplish this. And I think you're thoroughly okay with that idea. You're thoroughly okay with that idea. Uh, the middle of May, you will be in in the page of pentacles energy moving up over this sort of you have the ten of wands and the five of wands moving up over the top of all of the distractions in life all of the distractions of of what's going on around you with your children or your co-workers or your family or even the animals that are around you um, really moving up over the top of all of that commotion and all of that distraction um, to really create some safe zones for yourself. So you're in a safety zone creation time period in the middle of, of May where you're like reaching out and saying, hey, um, you know, between the hours of between the hours of eight and two thirty, uh, I'm really going to be offline for the next two weeks. Um, if you if you have a need for me, please do reach out by email. Please know that it might take me two to three days to respond that I am. I'm um, really in the middle of something and I'm taking a couple of weeks to, you know, whatever your message is, it is starting to create some sort of structure within all of this commotion that is around you, Capricorn, because I do think that you are a busy person and you are fully active in your life. And we do see that here. You and your progress that you're making is also requiring you to restructure um, and quiet some of these other um, other distractions or people with different goals. You know, you could have people around you that are obsessed about something else. You might have a brother who is obsessed about something that he's doing and he's, you know, like wanting to come into your time when you're working on this and talk to you about whatever he's obsessed with. And it could just be a hobby that he has or something, politics or whatever conversations are about these days you know you could be saying hey i'm working now but i would love to talk to you about this and um, how about after seven are you going to be around then it really is creating quiet time for yourself so that you can have the that you can have the space in which to to design and to grow the path that you're on design and grow the path that you're on and to create a place for yourself here capricorn where you can um, receive information flow information, find clarity information. It's all about clarity of mind and the quiet and the time and the time it takes to flow the information and flow the, um, flow the life that you're, that you're really walking towards here. So that there is going to be some boundary creation here in the middle part of May. None of this is being done in anger or anything like that, Capricorn. I think that you're just very logical about that, realizing like really what's needed here. I don't think you have a choice. I think this is fun. I think it's inspiring and I think it's, it's very exciting for you, but making these life changes, Capricorn, I really don't think you have a choice here because this new exciting endeavor is is in fact requiring it it is in fact requiring it um, as you make it through to the end of may capricorn um, we do see you here in the high priestess energy as you're moving forward now the high priestess energy is all about the quiet knowing of who you are so as you're moving through the page of pentacles it, i think it does seem like um, you are working to create steadiness here you see the page of pentacles moving up through the five of wands into the magician energy. So 
Um, you are hard at work here to design something that will really fit not only for you, but for the people around you. Uh, the people around you will have consequences to your request to alter your schedule or whatever you're doing here because it will affect what they do. And so I think that you are trying to um, design this in a way um, that will um, appease in a way it's like to appease the, the others. It's a silly way to say it to, to continue to maintain healthy relationships. I think that you are um, being careful to manifest a schedule or a environment or a group of relationships in a way that will continue to be well oiled and well working into the future. Capricorn, this is setting yourself up for a, for success in the future. And these are the steps that, that you as Capricorn are able to go through because you're able to really dig down and get into that intensity and really know what is required for you to find success. That is something that Capricorn can do and it's a valuable tool. So I don't think you're hiding the complexities from yourself at all. I don't think these complexities truly even bother you. I just think that they are just a part of the process for yourself. I don't see a lot of emotional turmoil here. I see strategy, Capricorn. I see um, commitment and passion for what you're doing. I see the need to clear up some time and space in your during your day to allow for some really clear information flow or creation flow here. Um, and as you get to the end of the month, in the high priestess energy with the world coming in and the nine of wands, I think you know that you're on a really powerful track here, that you have something that's very essential for your progress, very essential for even perhaps your community or maybe even radiating out beyond your community here. The high priestess with the world energy with the nine of wands tells me that you innately know um, that whatever this is for you, this six of wands, it is going to affect not only your life, but it's going to affect many people in an expansive way to bring new, um, to bring new opportunities in, to bring in new viewpoints in, to bring in it, more of it's, it's to bring the world in. Okay. I see. Um, what they, what, what they used to said about bringing the outside in, it was like a phrase they would use on HGTV or other home design. Um, maybe they still say it. I don't know, but they would always say, let's bring the plants in, bring the, bring the inside, bring the outside in. Isn't that what they used to say? Bring the outside in. Well, it just feels like to me, Capricorn, you're realizing you like, you're bringing the world in here. You're bringing the world into life. You're bringing the world into your life. Um, you, you are expanding into the world and the world is expanding into you. I don't know how else to say it. Uh, but you are embarking on here from your own inner knowing into something that is um, a complicated process, but it's also a start to something new and a start to something very valued by you. It will bring in new experiences for you. It will expand your consciousness. It will bring in enlightenment. It will challenge you. It will challenge your spiritual team, right? high priestess you're connected in to, to the universe here so it's not only going to challenge you it's going to in some way challenge your spiritual team uh, because from from my own experience this is something that um, is fun and inspiring for not only human beings but also um, the the beautiful and profound and all powerful energies that move around us you are in and you know you're in some kind of exciting, expansive place in life. This is something that you really don't have the evidence for yet, or you don't have um, the, the, the medals, or you haven't received the award yet, or you might not have even written the book yet, right? Or you might not have done the full thing yet, but, and, and it's maybe not even something you can really talk about right now, right? You know the power of speak. You know the power of speech and speaking and when to speak and how effective it is to speak in the timely moments. And since you're in the high priestess energy, it's telling me that it's not time yet. You're still building it. You're still 
creating it. You're, you're still working on perfecting it here with the magician. And you might just be too busy to do a whole lot of talking. Um, I would say by the end of May, you are, um, I would say you're tired. Number one, you're tired. You're tired. I would say you're tired. This has been hard for you, Capricorn, this last, I would say the last three months, if, if not more, it has been a challenging time for you. I think that you're tired. You would really like to be able to remove all of this from your mind and, and go on a vacation and just forget about it all just for a short period of time. It feels like it has been really intense, but I don't see you walking away. I don't see you letting go of this. In fact, I see you standing very strong, very strong, very tall, very together with this new opportunity. I think you're realizing this is also something that needs to be protected, that needs to be guarded. And in a, in a way, it's something that needs to be taken care of, caretaking. It's something, it's a jewel. It's a precious treasure, whatever this is, whether it's something that is like information or whether it's healing information, whether it, you know, it's something here that is a, it's connecting in with the universe for number one. So it's something more than just a random desire. It's something that connects in with the soul because it's connecting in with the inner being. It connects in with the universe through the inner being. So we know that you're connecting in through the universe and we know that you are also in manifestation mode. And what happens when the high priestess manifests? What happens when the high priestess, manif high priestess manifests? Well, she turns into the great mother. She turns into the powerful mother, the great mother, the empress. That's what she does when it starts moving to the outer environment when it starts coming in to the world as a real thing. So we have something here that is, um, is very precious to precious to you, Capricorn. And it's, and I would have to say it's something that is precious as, as something more significant than how it can affect just one individual. You're busy at the end of May. You, you have this confidence, inner confidence at the end of May. You still have this complexity around you that is still here at the end of May. I think that you are staying away from it or you're staying removed from it with the Nine of Wands. You're certainly not sharing very much. You're certainly not sharing very much. I don't think it's the time to share. I think it's the time to think. I think it's the time to write. I think it's the time to develop, um, to develop something here. And, and that time of development is still ongoing as you hit the end of May. Um, this is exciting. This is truly expansive. You're very much in action and you are standing strong in front of who you are, in front of who you are in general, I feel too. Um, not only are you standing strong in front of who you are, but you're, but you are continuing to move forward with this opportunity that you have. Um, and, and I think that you realizing this is something that is growing. This situation with the six of wands is something that is growing in strength, right? It's growing in strength. It is continuing to expand. That's what I'm getting here for, um, for the end of May. So it is a good, strong, optimistic, serious kind of energy. It, it, this means something to you, Capricorn, whether this is income producing or whether it's something important for the family unit, there's something here that's very, very important to you. And even though you, you do have fun in life, Capricorn, even though you do have fun in life, there is a seriousness and intensity and it is being done. It is, it, you are that way, Capricorn, because of this passion that you have and because of the opportunity that's at hand. I, I just, you're fully in this, you're fully in this, fully in the game here in the month of May. Um, let's go ahead and dig into a couple of these energies before I move over to the extended. Boy. Well, you'd already be in the six of wands. So I'm going to leave that one alone. 
but I am going to go into the Page of Wands to see what this is that you're kind of strategizing about with, with eliminating some of the difficulty in life right now. Let's go into the Page of Swords. Page of Swords. King of Swords. It's strategy. Eight of Cups. What are you going to walk away from? Here's the problem. Um, it's tough, man. It's tough. Ten of Wands can sometimes be really hard. Um, so I think that you are going to take a little bit of time and and make some really fair decisions. King of Swords is a really fair decision maker kind of energy. I think that the King of Swords it really looks at the bigger picture. He spends time. He he takes his time. King of Swords is, is a little bit of a slower mover. He takes his time. He looks at the situation in a very fair way. Uh, he, he understands that he himself has his own biases. He has his own weaknesses. He has his own complexities. So he knows, like, it's important to look at this situation from a logical, from a very logical, fair point of view. And so we see you in that space. Like, you're being very fair. You're being very rational and being very logical. I think you're realizing, like, if you're going to start to say no to things with this Ten of Wands, if you're going to start to say no, and if you're going to move forward and have conversations with people and make changes that will impact their lives, I think, you know, the best way to do that is just to be very rational about it, um, because this is something that's that is quite emotional for people. It's emotional for you and it's emotional for people. I um, you know that people will respond in an emotional way because you feel the emotions yourself, like you're totally in understanding of that. And I think you're realizing, like, if you do this, you're, you much prefer to say, um, hey, um, neighbor or coworker or manager, um, I do have this project that I have now that takes about, you know, six hours of my day every day. Um, that leaves me two hours of the day. So I've come up with this plan for what I'm going to be doing. And that leaves these, these duties or these things here, uh, you know, there I'm falling apart in my dialogue. But I don't have to do the whole dialogue, but basically it's like, uh, and this leaves these five activities here that I really, in order for them to be done well and for them to be accurate and for us to be successful in this, um, I, I really do not at this point have the, the time or the capacity to be doing these four things. So here's the plan. Here's what I'm presenting and blah, blah, blah. You just do it like this. You don't, you know, there is an avoidance of any kind of emotional, you know, I really feel like I should do this. And that person would, would be very good at this. And I think that person would be willing to take this on. And I just haven't been able to talk to her yet. It's not like that. It's just very business-like, unemotional, very factual. Um, the King of Swords is going to want to address any of those emotions that can come up that can create disturbance, disturbance in the family or disturbance in the workplace, disturbance in the community. So I think the King of Swords understands like this is something that hurts the heart sometimes, you know, with the Eight of Cups. And so I think that you're spending some time here and, and really looking at the situation to make sure that the changes that you bring forward um, will be will be conducive and 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 uh, in a way organically flowing in with the people around you in some way. Because when you're looking for a free mind and a peaceful mind, the last thing that you would like to have around you is drama. I think you're realizing like, you know, I need to do this in a way that I have a free and clear conscience, not only a free and clear mind, but a free and clear conscience because a con the conscience, and I don't even know where the conscience is, I know that the conscience sometimes is the gateway um, to success in some way. Um, and I, I think it's the freedom of the mind and the freedom of the conscience is, is something that you're looking forward to because the conscience, let me see if I can channel this. Give me a second here. The, con the conscious, the the freedom of the mind and freedom of the conscious being where you have a set of rules for yourself, a set of standards for yourself. If these standards that you have within you are threatened, 
by any of the actions that you're taking or any of the actions that people take that are connected to you, that, the, that friction within your own conscience creates a blockage. So the inner being will begin to block the, the success by, because of the conflict that it has um, with the, the standard that has been ignored. So this is the conscience that you were taught as a small child um, the Ten Commandments, right? Let's let's think of what creates our conscience. Um, stealing, whatever is in the Ten Commandments, depending on how you were raised and which sort of like religion you were raised in or how your parents taught you. But we all were able, we all grew up with some sort of conscience, unless, you know, unless you have um, some sort of, you know, most people have um, some kind of conscience. And if that conscience is disturbed, in any of the decisions that you make, that will affect how the information flows within you. I know that for sure, Capricorn, because I've had to, throughout my um, Kundalini that I've been going through, I've had to uh, make sure my conscience is always clean. If it's not clean, the information doesn't flow. And that has been sort of a painful process because um, I was raised um, very similar to Amish people. And so my conscience is very alive and very like, uh, involving itself in every little damn thing I do. And so that requires a lot of healing and a lot of purging to get, you know, so that's something that I think you're being very aware of. It's not only I'm looking for freedom of mind, um, you know, but I'm looking for the freedom for my conscience to be free and clear so the information can flow. Okay, I just came out of that that talking and I'm just sitting here like I don't even I don't even know where I'm at or what I was that's what happens when I work that's why I can't remember the readings guys I don't I think I'm done with this reading I think that I um I don't even know what I was doing I'm just I just came up out of it so let me um let me get let me give myself just a second here to see if there's anything else that I want to talk about in the general Let's pull one card for the Page of Pentacles here. You are working on stabilization and um, bringing in some initial success here. It looks like your initial success is going to be related to this Ace of Swords here. Let's let's look at the Page, page of Pentacles before we go. Page of Pentacles energy. Woo. The Fool. Yeah, you're doing something new that you haven't done before and you're look you're looking to bring in you know you're you're looking for the four of wands you're building the four of wands which is all about building a support system friendships um loving relationships uh, jobs occupations building those creating those in a way that you can have full confidence in them even as you're doing something new so you are looking to build uh, st stability, create a foundation for yourself. And that's really what you're working on. How are you going to create your, your foundation? Um, this is something new that you're doing. So you really are realizing it's going to take a little bit of time, um, one step at a time, but really and truly the goal is, is to be, create a very strong foundation, whether it's a, a, a relationship that you're creating, a new business that you're starting, a new job that you've stepped into, or a new role that you have. The goal is to slowly and surely create a pro create a relationship or a product or a service that is here for the long run. That's here and it will stay stable no matter what sort of um, conflict arises within it. So that's the goal here for you, Capricorn. All right, I am going to take a short break here and move into the extended reading for Capricorn. Thank you all very much for being here. It is a pleasure. Um, turns out for you, it looks like you're in a quiet expansiveness here and working on something that others might be recognizing you're busy working on something, but they might really not be able to know what exactly it is that you're working on. So um, what, why you are moving forward. People do know that you're doing this, but what exactly you're doing and how you're getting it done and how you're making it happen, I think is um, for many of you is a mystery that you're holding very close to your heart right now. Only maybe the closest of friends or maybe your immediate family are the only ones who really know about about truly what, what it is that you're doing. 
So I am excited to see how this move, moves forward. And so I'm going to head on over to the extended now. I just want to thank you again, Capricorn, and wish you guys all the best for the month of May. All right. Thank you.